Willie D Live. What's up, family? I want you to hear me and hear me good. I'm about to give you some life saving information. This is tragic, but it's going to help somebody. A mother and son was killed when their car was hit by a Missouri City cop who was responding to a robbery at an ATM machine. They have been identified as 53-year-old Angela Stewart and 16-year-old Mason Stewart. Family of the victims say it was Mason's 16th birthday. In an update, authorities said the officer received the call of a robbery in progress at about 8.42 p.m. Thursday at an ATM in the 1600 block of Cartwright. According to police, a man armed with a handgun approached the victim and robbed them of $200 before fleeing in a silver Honda Civic. The victim followed the suspect while talking to 911. Meanwhile, the officer responding to the ATM robbery was heading eastbound in the 16 to 1700 block of Cartwright Road when the stewards pulled out of a Dollar Tree parking lot. That's when the officer T-boned their vehicle, police said. Officials said Mason had just received his license and was driving. <clears throat> That's heavy there, fam. But guess what else happened? After being at the scene for about three hours, the police located a person in the back seat of the police vehicle. Now, according to authorities, that is against the law. An officer cannot respond to a different crime or call when they have someone already in custody in their squad car. Totally against the rules. So when I say say his name, I'm not talking about Mason. I'm talking about the uncivilized mutt who drove the squad car, who broke the rules. They say he had only been at the department for less than a year. And he had transferred from another department. So I would be very curious to know why he was transferred. He was also driving without his lights on. Guess he was trying to creep up on the suspect. But the suspect apparently got away. And this cop, this cop who broke the rules, sent two innocent people to the morgue. How often does that happen? For his troubles, this cop is now being dragged all over the internet and a so-called, at least, internal investigation is underway. I ain't got no problem with that. Lock him up. Lock him up. Lock that uncivilized mud up. Family, you got people out here getting killed. You killing people. Just See, this is why we talk about rules. This is why you have rules. They had that rule in place just for situations like that. No, you cannot respond to another call when you got somebody in the back seat. You ripping and running up and down the street, you can injure somebody while they're in that back seat. You can somebody could end up killed. Driving with you with the lights off, I bet you that's against the, the rules. I bet you that's against the rules. But he driving with no lights on, and he hit two innocent people who were just going about their business. 
killed him. And I guarantee you there's somebody around here thinking that he should get a break. Oh, it was just an accident. Well, guess what? When I'm, when I, you know, do something wrong, when I make a mistake, I get punished. See, there ain't no, there ain't no pass for regular people. You know, when we go to court, us regular citizens, when we go to court, judge don't care nothing about how you forgot or you didn't know or you was raised wrong. They gonna hit that gavel, bam, and give you that time. This sucker don't deserve no break, no consideration whatsoever. I wanna know who he is. I need his name. I'm gonna find out his name. And I'm gonna put him on blast. That's right. That's right. Now, this happened in Missouri City. Missouri City is a suburb of Houston. Uh, some people that live in Missouri City would say, no, 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 Missouri City is a city. It's a, it's a town. Missouri City is a suburb of Houston. You know, you can be in Houston in one minute, and the next minute, literally, you're in Missouri City. It's just, and Missouri City is, is about maybe 30 minutes from downtown Houston. So uh, the heart of downtown Houston. Right. Uh, I used to live in Missouri City, and I can tell you this, that the cops in Missouri City, many cops in Missouri City are overzealous. You know how you have those little small police departments, and but they billy badass. They you just, they love writing tickets, you know, because that's how they uh, pay their rent, right? Writing those tickets. So you coming through, you unsuspecting, you don't know where the traps are, uh, you're going to get pulled over. And then, yeah, they're, they're the type that'll pull you over. And in fact, uh, Missouri, the cops in Missouri City, uh, are there. Missouri City is in Fort Bend, Fort Bend County. Anybody know anything about Fort Bend County Police? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, they're the type that'll pull you over and rip your car all up and find nothing. Won't even give you an apology. But this is cold-blooded, fam. This is cold-blooded. And this is why you have this thing called defensive driving. When you're out there on that road, you have to think always, not just I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, but you got to be thinking that somebody may not be doing what they're supposed to be doing. They may, they may not be in their lane. They may be driving with their headlights off, you know, they may be speeding. They may run a light. They may run a stop sign. So you have to drive for the idiots out on the road. And I'm sure that if, well, I'm, 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 I'm relatively sure that if that youngster had been more experienced, perhaps, just perhaps, now this is not blaming the victim, this is, but this is just, you know, Acknowledging that there are steps that we can take to, to mitigate loss, you know what I'm saying? To mitigate damage to ourselves, right? So when you're driving, you have to drive for all the idiots on the road also, right? That's, that's, why they, that's what they call defensive driving. You're driving, you're doing what you're supposed to. You, you pull out, you know, out of the driveway and you did everything you were supposed to do. But this fool is driving with his headlights off and he's weaving through traffic and boom. But you didn't see that because you only focused on what you're supposed to be doing. So let's keep that in mind, fam, when we out here on these, on these streets. You know, we got to drive not just for ourselves, but for the idiots that are out here on the road. And this dude who killed uh, this mother and son he absolutely should be put in the penitentiary where he where i'm sure he's had a good time putting a whole lot of people no more talk